Hello. Today you guys are going to learn how to create um, shortcuts on your doc for websites. Um, for example, Mail, Facebook, Safari. Well, Safari is already there, not Safari. For example, like Mail and Facebook or YouTube or whatever you want. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this using a program called Automator. Um, so, this is my tutorial on it. Here we go. First thing is open up Automator. And this should open. This is personal leopard, of course. This is what it looks like. For leopard, it's gonna look like um, it'll say like custom, and it'll say over here like files and folders, and it'll say like two other things over here. Go ahead and click on files and folders if you're running leopard. If you're running Snow Leopard, click on application. Click choose. And for, for Leopard, automatically, this is going to happen. This will happen automatically and it will open up straight to the ad. So right when you go straight to this, this is what's going to happen right when you click on choose for, for Leopard. For um, Snow Leopard, you have to go straight to files and folders. You have to go to get specific get specified finder items and drag it inside the workflow. Next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and choose your item, which of course we don't have yet. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to Safari. I'll go to, for example, apple.com. I'll go to the Mac section and we'll go to the MacBook Pro. And then the MacBook Pro 13 inch. Wait a minute, how do I get rid of that? It's so whatever, we'll just keep it on the MacBook Pro family. Go ahead and um, you can just click on the little logo over here. Click copy. Actually, no, you don't you don't have to do copy. Um, just drag it onto the desktop somewhere. And it should create a little folder for you. I'm just gonna minimize this. You should create a little file for you like this. It's like that. HTTP file. So what you want to do is we're going to go ahead and find that inside here. And you want to go ahead and click on it right here. Just look for it if you saved it somewhere else. Click on add. Over here go to open finder items. Remember, you have to be in the section for files and folders inside Automator, not calendar, not PDFs. So you have to go to files and folders. And then over here, I'll have these little sections. Um, so, this is how you do it. It'll open automatically now. All you have to do is save it. So, save. Um, you can just save it as, like, for example, Apple Mac Book. Family. Before you save it, make sure your file format will be application. That's why you chose it in the beginning for Snow Leopard. For Leopard, it's not going to, it'll automatically be default workflow. So I want you to change it to application or else it will not work on your dot. Save it as application. And go ahead and push save. You can quit this. Now, whatever you do, do not move this file. You want to keep this working. If you want to keep this MacBook Apple Family thing working, then you don't want to move this. You can move it around like that, but I'm saying you can't move it to a different folder. Or else it won't find it, and then it'll get confused, and it won't work. So you want to put this in a folder that you'll know where it is, and you won't delete it. So make sure you do that before you make the Apple MacBook Family, or whatever website you're making it for. Now what you can do is you can make any, you can put an icon for this. Um, or you can just drag it like that if you like that icon, which I highly doubt you will like it. You can just drag it to your dock like that. Apple Mac the family, click on it, and it goes straight to the website. So um, that's what you do. That's what you're supposed to do. So if you want to change the icon, all you do is you put an icon that you like. I will get one of these. I'll use this one. Info, tab, copy, close window, 
close window. Close and then you go to tab. After you go to get info push tab and you push paste. It changes it. You can go and drag this right inside there. And you have a little alphabetical family link on your dock. If you want to do this for like Facebook and AOL Mail, make sure you push remember. Um, if unless you like typing in your password and you, uh, mail every single time, push remember and then right when you click on the mail, it will go straight to your mail. And right when you click on Facebook, it will go straight to Facebook. So it's a pretty good shortcut. Um, I, mean, I use it for mail like a lot. Like, I don't even go on AOL Mail anymore because this is this works just as good. Things like a mail program, I don't. I really wish it was working because you can do like fun stuff with it with like iCal and. You can like mix it up with all the other programs, so it's a bummer to that. But yeah, not even iChat works. Really good look. I'll go to iChat and then this weird thing will come. Like it says, iChat cannot communicate to AIM account. If you guys have any um, solutions to this, please tell me because I want to know how to fix this. So um, if you ever find that, I would be very happy if you can tell me the solution to fixing that. Thank you if you do. If you don't, then. That's just something I'm not going to learn. So, I will hopefully know that. So that's how you do it. That's how you can put stuff on your dock. You can find icons anywhere. Just look it up online. Or even inside, if you have Microsoft Word 2008, there's a bunch of icons inside that inside that folder. Like if you go inside here, 2008, you go to Office, and then you go to Media, inside Office folder. You go to uh, Clipart. And then all these things are all icons in a second. Then if I go to clip art, there's a, these are like for example people. This is really funny. I can like make this my icon. <laughs> Look. If I just go like this, click on that, push select all, copy it, close the window. I can change the icon of this by pasting it onto it. And now I have an icon of that guy. <laughs> So you can like do whatever icon you want. You can do it with this. There's a bunch of cool things you can do it with special occasions. You can put a hat, have a cake. You have like a whatever these things are. You can do whatever you want. Balloons. So if you have like a birthday or something, you can, you can just like put those icons for it. Um, I thank you, Microsoft, for making these icons or these clip arts. Um, I do not take any credit for making any of these. I'm misusing them. For icons, because that's what they're made for to be used. Um, there are animals, <laughs> so you can make a bunch of funny things with these. So that's how you do it. Have fun. Goodbye. I'm push, push, stop recording. And three, two, one, done.